A serious case of road rage sends one to the hospital. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Friday, December 2nd. An incident of road rage got out of hand Friday afternoon when a man armed with a crowbar expressed himself in the parking lot at Home Depot in Canyon Country. Deputies were called at approximately 12.15 and the initial report was a man with a knife. The man allegedly got into an altercation with another driver and attacked the victim with a crowbar, then drove out to Soledad Canyon Road where he struck another vehicle. Officials say deputies detained the suspect in the parking lot of Dick's Sporting Goods. The victim was transported to Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. A 20-year-old Valencia man was in court today to face 12 felony counts of forcible lewd acts upon a child, according to the L.A. County District Attorney's Office. If convicted as charged, Alexander Boswell of Westridge could face a maximum sentence of 120 years in prison. Boswell's bail was set at $1.2 million. The charges involved one victim, a boy, under the age of 14 with the alleged acts of sexual assault occurring between March of 2007 and June 2008. That makes the suspect between the ages of 16 and 17 when the alleged crimes were committed. The DA's office is charging Boswell as an adult. The case is being investigated by the Santa Clarita Station's Special Victims Unit. Coming up after the break, story time comes to life in Newhall at the 5th Annual SCV Literacy and Arts Festival. It's go time at your Toyota dealer. They're here now. The cars, trucks, and SUVs you really want. With great deals on every new Toyota. Go for zero APR and save thousands on a new Corolla. Or lease a new Corolla for just $189 a month for 36 months. And Corolla comes with Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. Get a new Corolla. It's go time. The unemployment rate has declined by 0.4% to 8.6% in November, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. It does look like we are continuing to slouch towards recovery here as we add jobs at a very slow pace. We still have 13 million people unemployed. 6.6 .6 million want a job but haven't e are not even looking anymore. Cooper says there are more people looking for work than jobs posted and believes an extension of un unemployment benefits gives the jobless money to spend, which is good for the economy. Well, the first Thursday Art Walk is on winter break, but that doesn't mean you still can't find art in Old Town Newhall. Each first Thursday of the month, the Out West Boutique on Main Street celebrates the opening of a new art exhibit featuring a local artist. This week, the store hosted a holiday open house to celebrate second-time featured artist Sandy Fisher and stained glass artist Jeff Curtis of Canyon Country. Curtis's Sun Catchers and Fisher's Nature-inspired watercolor collection will be on display through December. Sandy is a very versatile artist who works in a variety of mediums and we're thrilled to have uh, watercolors with, with her this month. I started in oils, I've done photo photography a lot. Watercolor um, lends itself to a lot of what I call pleasant surprises. When you mix water with pigment, you just don't really know what you're going to get and watercolor is a very difficult medium. I think it's very underappreciated. It's probably one of the hardest to do. First Thursday Art Walk will return to Main Street in March of next year. Well, it was cool, 66 degrees in Santa Clarita today. Tonight will remain clear with a low around 43 and southwest winds between only 5 and 10 miles per hour. Highs are in the upper 50s for your weekend. The National Weather Service is forecasting more winds, however, between 25 and 35 miles per hour on Saturday and Sunday. And breezy conditions will continue on Monday and Tuesday. All right, now for your SCV Business Minute. Advanced Bionics of Valencia has received approval for Neptune. It's the world's first and only swimmable waterproof sound processor. Neptune is designed to help cochlear implant recipients hear in and out of the water. Right now, the cochlear implant recipients must remove their hearing aids when they go in the water. Parents of children with cochlear implants will also appreciate the bonding and learning that comes with hearing during bath time, as well as the safety of their children hearing while in the pool. 
Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital has received prestigious international reg recognition as a baby-friendly birth facility by the World Health Organization and the United Nations Children's Fund. Henry Mayo became one of only nine baby-friendly hospitals in Los Angeles County. The initiative recognizes hospitals and birthing centers that offer an optimal level of care for breastfeeding mothers and their babies. Now for your business calendar for the next couple weeks. The Small Business Development Center is offering a two-hour hands-on workshop where you'll learn how to effectively use LinkedIn to grow your business. Come with a LinkedIn profile already created and $30 for the cost of the course. It'll happen on Monday, December 5th at IGT Technical Institute in Silmar. The Santa Clarita Chamber of Commerce is keeping you busy on December 14th with her monthly networking breakfast at 7.30 a.m. at NBC Suites in Valencia. Also that evening is the Chamber's Business After Hours Mixer. It starts at 5.30 p.m. at Galpin of Santa Clarita. This weekend, literature comes to life in Newhall. On Saturday, the City of Santa Clarita and the SEV Education Foundation will be hosting the 5th Annual Literacy and Arts Festival at Newhall Park. This year's event will feature Story Village, ice sculpting, theater, and hands-on activities. The family-friendly event is free. Festivities will run from 10 to 3 at Newhall Park. Visit scveducationfoundation.org for details. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam.